Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to model a calculator. We're also going to do a UV texture map on it and we're going to apply some textures and do a render. I'm going to go up to the Create menu, Polygon Primitives, Cube. I'm just going to create a cube. Let me smooth shade that. I'm going to scale it so it looks more like the shape of a calculator. I have a calculator here in front of me that I'm using kind of like a, as a go-by. Yeah, that's about the shape of it. I'm going to bevel it. I'm going to shift right click, insert edge loop. Put right one that there in the middle. I'm going to bevel that edge loop. I'm going to go to object mode. In my channel box, I'm going to click on poly bevel 2. Change segments to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because this calculator has six rows of buttons, it also has four columns of buttons. So I'm going to shift, right click, insert edge loop tool, add another one this way. I'm going to bevel it, go to object mode, poly bevel 3 in my channel box, and change segments to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. I'm going to change the offset to kind of spread that out. Go down to poly bevel 2, offset, spread that out. So the buttons are a little more square. Maybe not quite that square. Uh, yeah, I'll make it a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. There we go. I like that. All right, I'm going to go to face selection mode. I'm going to select all the faces that are going to make up our button. Go to my edit mesh, keep faces together. I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm going to extrude those inward. And I'm going to extrude those down. That's going to create the thickness of the top of our calculator. I'm going to extrude those outward. extrude down again. That creates a lip around the opening of the hole for our buttons. And then I'm going to delete those faces. Let me turn shading, wireframe on shaded on. That way I can see my edges when my object's not selected. Okay, that part's done, so I'm going to create some buttons for it. So I'm going to go to my top view, create a polygon cube. And I'm just going to scale it to where it fits in the opening of one of those holes. There we go. All right, I'm going to check out the height. Let's adjust that. It's probably good there. All right, I like that. So I'm going to delete this bottom face because we don't need that bottom face. It's going to be hidden. Go to Edge, select the top edges and the side edges. I don't want the bottom edge selected. I'm going to bevel. Go to Object Editing Mode. Go to my channel box, bevel, poly bevel 4. I'm just going to change, make that bevel not so big. There we go, I like that. Let's lower that button back down in our in the hole of our calculator. And now I'm just gonna duplicate. So I'm gonna control D, duplicate, move it. Control D. Control D. Now I'm going to select the whole row, control D, control D, 
control D, control D. That's exactly what we want. Now this top row, these buttons should be a little thinner actually. So I'm going to select that and the calculator. I'm going to go to vertex editing mode. Select all these vertices there. That way I can pull the hole with the button. I'll just make that smaller. Something like that. Grab these lower vertices, pull it up closer to the buttons. That way we have the same size border going around the, the sides and the bottom of our buttons. I'm going to grab these top ones. Just give us some room to work. Alright, I'm going to make all those buttons one piece of geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those buttons. Go to Mesh, Combined. Now all those buttons are combined together.